Hey guys, so first of all, I'm really sorry for not posting a review in quite some time as I somehow felt really sick after New Year's and I'm still kind of like trying to wrap my head around it. I guess one thing like the first lesson that I learned in the year 2014 is that you're not as young as you used to be so don't go all out, like get rest and don't eat shit because you would actually fall sick. So yeah, if that even makes sense. Anywho, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Lycan, which is made by this American modder called Barbara Smods. Before I start the review, huge shout out to Max Fatner for actually helping me grab hold of one of these guys. Um, it was a massive battle for me and I actually freaked out for a couple of days before I eventually did like secure one that's my own. So yeah, a little backstory is that the Lycans were sold on three websites in the United States. Bear Brass Mods, Vape Tribe, and I think Vape Syndicate if I remember correctly. Two of them do not ship overseas. So yeah, it was pretty, I, I tried getting it, like F5ing for it, but I failed. So Max actually managed to get hold of one and he passed it to me. He allowed me to like grab his spot. So I'm really thankful for that. So thank you so much. Yeah. Um, how much did this guy sell for? On Bear Brass Mod, it sold for $245 US dollars, and on Vape Tribe and the other website, if I remember correctly, it went for $255 US dollars, if you guys are keen. So, anywho, I currently have mine paired with a Senesis with a 0.8 ohms coil and 305 straw mesh, so here goes. So the Lycan is actually a 20 by 1 threaded mod, so you can use like hybrid atomizers like say the Factor, the Synthesis, the Versa hybrid atomizer for example to turn this guy into a hybrid. One thing I found is that somehow the switch of this guy does not quite thread on to like my other mods as well perhaps as there's quite a fair bit of threading so if say you're using a Caravala for example there is n not enough space for the switch to actually go in. Now one thing about the Lycans when you're first purchasing it it's what you pay for is actually what you get as the Lycans only sell in 18350 mode, 18490, 18500 mode and 18650 mode they do not sell like extra tubes for it, so when you first receive it, it's pretty much a one tube, one mod, like straight in the box. So I know some people may not like this aspect, but trust me, the Lycan is worth the, well worth the money in my opinion. Now the tube of this guy is actually a brass tube, however the inside of it is actually copper plated, and you can actually see like some remnants of like the copper coming out um, through these beauty rings and personally what I think is that because the end caps are made out of like oxygen free copper as well and the inside is copper plated this mod actually fires really hard like I was initially expecting something rather similar to say the steampunk Barbara mod for example as that guy was a hard hitter as well and the Lycan was termed to be a reverse steampunk. However, the voltage drop of the Lycan is something that personally I've not experienced in a mod before, so much so that when I first um, paired my Senesis with um, my Lycan, I actually was a bit taken aback by the power of it as I did a voltage drop test of this guy with a 0 0.6 ohms atomizer and I had a 0 0.17 voltage drop off it which is a pretty low voltage drop in my opinion and personally this Lycan is currently the hardest hitting mod that I have in my arsenal so far so yeah if you like hard hitting devices definitely check this guy out. Now the contacts of this guy are actually if I'm not wrong rhodium plated brass and what I like about rhodium plate plated like contacts is that there is almost no maintenance of it so rather than actually having to like auto saw or like clean your contacts once every few days 
the way you clean rhodium plated contacts heads just simply like wipe it down every couple of weeks or so as rhodium does not tarnish so you do not get any like voltage like any significant voltage drop of these contacts which is a huge thumbs up in my opinion now the top 510 contact of this guy is actually a telescoping um, contact so the way you use it is to just simply like screw on your atomizer screw this um, bigger screw all the way in in order for you to like make contact and telescope the bottom screw out in order for you to like prevent any battery rattlings and whatnot. Really similar to like the Pops, the Chi Yu, the Pops 2.1 and and the newer version still and like the Chi Yu for example. But what's different about this is that there is quite a fair bit of like knurling on the contacts and it's actually a rather like chunky knurling as well. So it makes the overall adjustment of this 510 connector just a breeze in my opinion and I like it a lot so yeah the bottom contact of um, this guy in the switch is held together using a Phillips head screw and the switch in itself like the throw of this guy is it's very different from that of the steampunk bear brush mod I was a bit like taken aback by it initially however I've grown to like it as the switch is actually um, rather than being held by a spring this is actually held by a magnet so the throw of this guy <clears throat> sorry the throw of this guy in my opinion is much stiffer and like much longer than the steampunk bear brass mod for example rather than having say a 1mm throw the throw of the lichen in my opinion is more similar to that of a 2mm throw and in terms of like depressing it, you do have to use quite a fair bit of like force to like depress it as it is rather stiff. But not stiff in a bad way, but stiff in that you know that you actually do have to like put in quite a fair bit of force in order to like depress it. And I do kind of like like that that aspect quite a fair bit. It did take me a while to get used to it though, as what I like is that you know that you actually have to like you know that you're firing it just by like the amount of force you use to like depress the switch. I have no idea if I made sense, but yeah, go with it. So yeah, there is a vento at the side of the switch as well, and to like allow air to escape should your battery happens to like vent. And right at the bottom, you kind of get like this southern cross kind of like um, engraving on it with the BBM initials going straight down it. So, yeah, personally, I really do not have anything bad to say about the Lycan. I've been using it non-stop since the day that I got it, and in fact have like retired quite a fair bit of mods just because I have been using my Lycan so much. In terms of like functionality, voltage drop, aesthetics even, I currently can't quite think of like any better looking mods that works this well that's currently out there. If it was up to me though, one thing that I have a slight gripe on, and perhaps I'm like absolutely nitpicking on this, is that I do not quite like the indentations of like these beauty rings, as it kind of makes it a bit hard to clean. I know Barbara's mod did mention what cloth to buy on his Facebook page if you want to like clean this guy efficiently. Have I tried searching for it in Australia and they didn't sell it, so I've just not cleaned this guy and I've really long time since day one as to me at least I kind of feel that if I were to use say a silver kind of like cleaning cream or autosol for example there is a large possibility of you getting the cleaning cream stuck in these beauty rings and I kind of foresee that being an absolute pain in the ass when you are trying to actually remove it out of these grooves but other than that Perhaps it's a slight nitpick. Um, perhaps some people might actually be really taken by it. So yeah, other than that, definitely check out the Lycan. As right now at this stage, I honestly can't quite think of like a better mod in terms of like aesthetics and functionality that's probably out there. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen. 
and yeah, I'll definitely be seeing you guys next video. Fingers crossed I don't fall sick again. So yeah, peace.